Hello craft fairies. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to work with the booklet album dies today. Um, most of you may already know how to make this. This is something that we made back in November at create eight. Um, so it is being released again, or, you know, I saw it on HS and crafty the other day. So I only made it that one time in class. So I haven't used the die set since. So I kind of forgot. So I'm just going to follow along with the instructions and we'll make it together. And hopefully this can help someone else. So it's going to come with some dies. So you're going to need this one. It comes with this one. Sorry, it comes with this one. This would, this is like your um, spine, I guess you can call it. It cover. It's like all of that in one. <laughs> and then you're going to get this one, which is your hinge die. And then you get three pockets. So to make this, per the instructions, you're going to need to cut out two of these two of the hinges, two of the large pockets, two of the medium pockets, I'm sorry, three of the medium pockets, and three of the mini pockets. You are also going to need three cards, five by seven, and some ribbon, and we'll get to that towards um, as we finish our book. Um, so you can use Anna's cards if you like. I'm going to um, make my own. So to make your own cards, what you need to do is cut out some cardstock. Now I already have all of my pieces cut out as far as the pockets and the spine and all of that. So today I'm going to be using this flower alphabet cardstock from Stamperia. So. I'll just give you a quick little flip through if in case you're interested it is double sided and it is so pretty and I'm just showing you this just in case you're interested in using it and look at this you got all these little cutouts here that you can put in these pockets for this um, album look at that here Okay, so I am going to show you how to make your own 5x7 card if you don't know. So what you pretty much need to do is cut um, some cardstock that is um, 10 inches. So I'm going to cut, this is a 12x12, 12 12, so I'm cutting it down to 10 inches. And turn your paper and I'm going to cut it down to seven inches. So you need to cut your paper down to a 10 by seven and then you either can score it in, in five inches or you can just fold it in half. That's up to you. Um, obviously for a more professional look it's better for you to score it but I'm just going to fold it. And if you have which mine's fell on the floor, excuse me, please. If you have a bone folder or something, just give that a good crease. So that's how you make your own five by seven card, okay? So I'm gonna make two more and I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and created my three card bases. So now we are going to go ahead and start following the instructions. And it tells us first to Okay, here's what we need so as you can see um, if you you know forget what you're supposed to cut out this is everything that shows you and how many so we're gonna take one of these one of these you cut out two remember what we're gonna take one of them right now and when you cut it out it's gonna have score lines on the left and right side you want to go ahead and fold those score lines and just when you fold them, make sure you give them a good, um, a good burnish to have a good crease line. And then you also score on, fold on this side. So the score line is gonna automatically, once you die cut it, it's gonna automatically be there. So then as you can see, it looks like our album spine. So that's the first one we're gonna do. 
and I'm gonna go ahead just because and fold the other one because we are gonna need the other one as well so we might as well fold that and so yeah we did make this and create and I don't <laughs> I put a lot of stuff away I don't even know where my it's it's away my book but I gotta find it so then you need remember we needed two two of of the hinges so when you cut those out they're also going to have a score line but only one score line and it's going to be down the center so then go ahead and just fold that and get those folded burnished creased here we go and we can do the pockets later all right so there we go so we got that done so now let's go back to taking one of these that we folded. Now, for the instructions, it says um, apply adhesive. So you can use tape or glue. I'm just gonna probably use glue right now. So it says apply adhesive to the back of the first booklet cover, which is one of these, because you can see the picture too. And it says cover only the left side up to the score line. So we're gonna only put glue on the left side. So let me just, this is, um, I use Dry's Clear um, glue. It's a good glue. And it not only does it dry clear, but it dries fast. So I may move a little quick and maybe I should have used tape, but I'm gonna kind of hold this so you can see where I'm going. So don't cross over into this, um, section right there you just want to get adhesive around this area and get as much as you can don't worry if you can't get every section I definitely will focus on the ends and the larger section like this is a large area here and like I say you could also use tape okay so we got that done and then now it says to adhere the back Okay, so here we need a card. So adhere the back of, I'm sorry, adhere to the back left side of card base one up to the score line. Okay, so we need to take the back of our card and we need to, you see what I'm doing? You take the back of your card. This is whichever side you're gonna use as your front and back. So this is my inside card. So this is the back of it. So we need the back left side and we're going to, line it up to that score line you see that and we're just going to press down and you might want to sit something on here uh, do i have a book <laughs> i do have a book right here so just something to kind of let it sit and dry so the next once we do that while that's drying so the next you're going to take the other one and this time we're going to put glue on the right side not the left the right only but we still need to use this card so i'm gonna wait a little bit for it to dry and it doesn't really take long i just want to make sure it a few more seconds so yeah so this is super easy I'm gonna do the base with you and then we can decorate and you can use you know your own papers you can use um, your own embellishments so yeah I chose this paper today from Stamperia because it's um, something I had in my stash I actually have a few of those paper pads and I haven't used them in a while so I'm putting glue on the right side this time so the same like we did before just on the right side focusing on those ends and like I said the larger section all right so then now it says let me remove this it says to 
Okay, apply adhesive to the back of the book on the right side, which I did. And now we are going to close your card. See how I have it? Now just close it. And then we're gonna take this. See my card is closed. I don't wanna confuse nobody, it's closed. And then now we're gonna take this with the glue side and we're just gonna lay it here, line it up to that score line and just press down. That's easy, right? I'm gonna just sit the book on it again and let that dry. So if you didn't get it, just rewind the video and go back to it. All right, so then next we're gonna move on to card number two. So, you know, you pick your cards. It doesn't matter which card you use, you just pick your own. So I have this card here, which is gonna be my number two. And it says to apply adhesive to the back of the hinge die cuts. Okay, so that's these, right? So um, I'm just looking at the photo. Sometimes these wording can be a little, adhere them to the inside right and left of the card base of two. Okay, so it looks like we need to open card base number two, and then we're going to put some adhesive. You're gonna take one, open it up. You're gonna put adhesive What you wanna do is have it look like this. It's super easy. So you see that you're gonna glue it to the end of each and then you should have this sticking out on each side. See that? So whatever your inside is, and I'm only saying that because this is a double-sided paper. So right now, I'm just putting my glue. And like I said, just follow along with me and I promise you it, it'll get, it's not that hard, it's not. I'm taking my time because I know sometimes here we have new crafters and one of the most frustrating things is to move so fast and you know, I get it. So I, I try, please be patient. So now you see that I have some on my right side and I'm gonna flip it over, flip it over and I'm just going to line it up, line it up on the end. You can even just like close it to kind of make sure it stays lined up. And I'm just gonna take my book and lay it on top of there. And let me take this one out the way. So this is done, this part so far. So I'm gonna move that. And then we're going to need to take this part and we're gonna need to put glue on the right side again. And we're gonna do that. Okay, so you're gonna put it, holding it if, you know, in your direction is gonna be both right side, if that makes it sound easier. And like I said, the good thing about, you know, this is that you can just rewind. It's okay, don't get frustrated. And like I said, I'm taking my time because there are people here who appreciate that. If you don't, just fast forward. Or if you, you know, you're not, don't really need this help, fast forward. So then we're gonna take this one, glue on the right side, and we're gonna take the other end of our card and we're gonna lay this on top of it like that and you see how that piece is sticking out so I'm just closing it it's not actually gluing the back it's only gluing the front side but I'm just closing it so that it lays flat so I'm gonna move this book from that side to that side to keep it to dry so as you see now that this is dry you see how you have this piece still sticking out that's what you want so like I said some of us um, we look <laughs> I'm probably one of those people I can look and see you know better than I can read it and understand it so that's that and then once we do this we're going to go ahead and connect uh, we're gonna start connecting this card number one and card number two okay so super easy and it looks like it says Adhere the left inside of card. And adhere the left inside edge of card one to the hinge. Okie dokie. So look what we have here. So this is the first one we worked on. So you see it looks like a little book. 
So this is the cover. So this is actually what it's going to look like when we're finished. Like that. You see that? And you're going to open it like it's a gatefold. You have your page there. But obviously we're going to add more pages. All right. So then now what we need to do is take your your first your book take it and you're going to open it up it's only one page here so far open it up and then we're going to take card number two the second card we just worked on and you're going to take this piece remember you have the piece hanging off you're going to put glue on that now and now i'm going to put glue here And I'm just gluing it. Um, if you want to move faster, use tape. Use a good tape so that it, you know, definitely holds. Especially if you're going to give this away. All right. So then now you see that. So I'm just flipping it back over so I can get a better control of it. So open my open my book. You see it? Open it. And then now I'm going to connect this to that one. You see that? So all I did was connect it and I'm just going to fold it close because I love to do that. <laughs> I'm going to fold that close and I'm going to lay the book on. Don't worry about this piece. This is the other side of the card. I'm going to lay the book on top to kind of help it dry faster. All right. So then we're going to move on once that dries. So then we're going to take card number three, which has nothing on it. And as you can probably guess, we are going to glue this other hinge to this. So how easy is that? So while that's um, drying, all right, so then we're gonna take, you see what I'm saying? So then now we'll take our final card, number three, we're going to put glue on the back of on the back of this and then we're going to take this and connect it. So like I said, just go back, rewind the video. Don't get frustrated. It's not that hard. I really hope if this is your first time making it that you um that you're successful and let me know in the comments if you made it or not. Okay, so then take the third card, open it up, and we're gonna connect our final card to this here, and just push it up to that score line, and press down, and I'm going to, again, lay my book on it to get the glue to dry, you know, the um, for it to stay down and dry faster. So then once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the pockets. So here are the pockets. And you remember you have two large, three medium, and three small. You can use as many as you like, but I'm going by the instruction or as little as you like. So these have score lines. So on the side, you're just going to go ahead. You have three score lines on each. So and just, you know, fold it. So you're going to have that one and then this one and it's the same on all of your pockets and just give them a good fold and it'll look like that so just go ahead and do that to all of your pockets so it's my two large ones and I'm just gonna go ahead, here's the smaller ones. It's the same thing, two on this side, fold, and one at the bottom, just finish that. Okay, so I have all my pockets folded. I'm gonna remove this, and let's take a look at our book. So remember, this would be like our cover. Open it up, and you have your page. Look at that. And you can use as some glue stuck there. You can use as many of these as you like. Remember, the more you use, the thicker your book will be. Okay. And I do recommend, um, I don't know if I said that, but I do recommend double-sided paper because, you know, you're going to see the back of this 
And if you don't use double-sided paper, then you can just add some card layers. So just cut out some five by seven sheets of paper and glue them on top of these. See, I had some glue there and I pulled it off and it tore off the page, but that's okay because all I would have to do is cut out a five by seven sheet of paper and just add it and cover it up. So you can decorate the back as much as the front. So now, according to the instructions, let's go ahead and get this pockets in. So um, as soon as you open your book, on the left side, we have a medium sized pocket and we have a mini pocket. So you get that on. Um, I think I'm just gonna use some tape for this part. So just put some adhesive. Okay, so then you're going to Put your medium one on first so just line it up to the center of your card get that on and look at that you have your pop and then we're gonna do this one so what do you guys think that was easy right not hard at all so we have another pocket here and you're just gonna center that on top of that pocket now on this page, there is a large pocket. So I'm going to take my large one and same thing. It's repetitive. All right, I'm focused over here. So then you take that one and you're gonna just place that, make sure you don't mess with your uh, fold area. So then you're just going to I'm telling you not to mess with my your fold area and I'm a little too close. <laughs> so just move it. This is such a large pocket it, it covers almost the whole page. So move away from your score line. And I mean it's not a lot of room here. Okay, as you can see, wow, that really covers up the whole page just about, but my fold is still there. So you definitely want to do that. So then we turn it over and it looks like we're going to do the same thing on this page. We're going to put a, a medium pocket and a smaller pocket. Okay. Do that easy right I'm like over here like super quiet and focus so then just put that in the center so pretty and then we need a small pocket so then we'll take our small pocket and get that on so wonderful I love this I love easy and put that in the center and then we will skip that page and then on these final two pages we have a a um we have the mini one the smallest one here cute and then we have a large one and like I said, once you, you know, you do this on your own, you can use as little or as much as you like. This is obviously for guidance for us. All right, so then the small one goes here. Make sure you stay away from that score line. With the small one, I mean with the large one. I said small, I meant large. And then we have here. the medium and you're just gonna center that and place that in the center of this one so then what you can do is you can take your you can take your pockets so like I took this one and you could just put some paper under it and I took some glitter paper and just stuck it under it and cut that part out. You see that? So now I have a border. 
So then all you need to do is cut off the line where you would fold it on each side. You just need to cut that line off. And then you'll put some glue on here. And oh, I think I still see with the glitter paper, it's hard to see the line. I hope I did that. Yeah, I can see it. I hope I did it right. Okay. So then you would just put some glue or tape and then look at that. Pretty. So you could do that. Um, I did not do that with all of them. Um, I just wanted to show you at least one of them. So I did the very last one. So that's something else you could do. And then now we will move on to the funnest part, which is decorating. And please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy are enjoying this and if this is helpful to you, please and thank you. So then now let's go ahead and decorate. So let me move some things out the way. So that's it. Your book is complete. Um, now you just decorate. So to decorate, I have obviously Anna's. I have some florals and I have some die cuts. So, so now let's to start decorating. I'm going to be using. Um, a lot of cutouts from this paper pad so like I definitely want to use this so I'm just gonna cut out some of these I'm gonna show you again before I start cutting lots of things out so it is extremely pretty and has beautiful birds and florals and butterflies etc so tags so I'm going to cut out some of these to use in my journal. All right, so I have my things cut out. Now I'm going to go ahead and decorate. So for the front of the page, I have this cut out from the book. And I'm going to put some um, foam adhesive on that. And actually, I guess I could just use some tape for that. And... This is gonna be the fun part. I'm not sure if I will speed it up. I don't know how long the video is so far. Um, is this this way or this way? I guess this way. So um, you can just fast forward. Okay, so then I'm gonna be using, like I said, this is the fun part. You get to use all the things that you have. And I'm going to be using this. This is from Spellbinders. This is a birdhouse. And this is what it looks like. It doesn't come with the little chick. You buy a separate set for that. But um, it's a birdhouse. And I'm going to be using that and the little gate. So I cut it out in blue. And I'm going to just put some foam adhesive on the back of that. And give that some dimension. So cute. So I thought I used that, um, you know, since this is pretty much the paper, the cardstock that I'm using has birds on it. And so then also I have the little gate here. I'm going to just put some um, tape on that. Actually, where is my sticky folio? <laughs> I just love that thing, my sticky folio. So that's, I keep forgetting, sometimes I forget that I have it. So I need to like put it somewhere where I use it, you know, cause I'm just so used to grabbing, um, I'm so used to just grabbing like a tape runner or some glue or some tear tape. So. I forget about my sticky folio and the good thing about this is that you can put multiple pieces so this is the only thing that I see myself using um, for this album using like small pieces everything else is self adhesive so I'm just gonna use that for this so what do you guys think about the sticky folio it's like a dotted tape so I do find that dotted tapes is not like the most permanent, um, you know, but it definitely helps when you have like intricate die cuts, you know? So, I mean, most of that's stuck, so that's good. 
So let me get this on. Oh, I love this book. I love the color, color palette that I chose. So I'm gonna get that on. Cute. And then I have um, some of Anna's flowers here. So here is a hydrangea. I'm gonna probably put that right here. And there are no hydrangeas on the cardstock, but you know, I wanted to find blue flowers. So you just go through your stash, use what you have, don't overthink it. And yeah. So then I cut out one of her hummingbirds and I'm thinking uh, from her hummingbird die, I'm gonna go ahead and set him right there. And I'm just gonna use, give him some foam tape so he can be propped. Oh, like perched like that. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute, guys? All right, so then we're gonna move on to the next page. So then for this page, I have, um, what do I have for this page? So here is Anna's um, hummingbird dies. So I have a video on that. I'll leave that in the description so you can see it if you're interested. Now, so for this page, I cut out, like I said, stuff from the book, from the uh, scrapbook. So I'm just gonna put this right there. And I'm just gonna do that with tape. So yeah, um, this booklet, you know, you can even like leave these pages blank so that you can um, add photos, you know, to um, scrap your photos or whatever. Baby books, wedding books, friendship books, St. Patty's, Easter celebration, whatever it is. So then you have your pockets. So I have some things that I cut out for the pockets, but I'll come back to that. So then I have more of Anna's flowers and I'm just gonna go and just, you know, add flowers and some things, play around with some stuff and see what I like and where I wanna put things. So this part, I may go ahead and just fast forward. that I have played around with the decorating. I have cut out some tags and some bookmarks um, from the paper pad. So I'm just going to, I have some twine here that I'm gonna use. Um, I think I'll use this light purple one, this lavender color. And I'm just going to uh, put some twine on those. I'm gonna be using my crocodile to just put some little holes here. Um, you can definitely, um, you can definitely uh, use a hole puncher if that's what you have. Um, don't overthink it. Just use what you have. So me being a little extra here, I'm just going to add a little, um, what do you call these things? <laughs> Just add that and then this one I'll add it. Just two of them. 
So like I said, you can just use a hole puncher to create your hole. You do not have to, um, you know, worry about having a crocodile. That's not necessary at all. So then I'm gonna take this twine and I'm just going to add some twine to the ones that I put a hole. Just a small piece, you don't need a large piece. And you could do it this way or you can take it, fold it in half and you can just run it through your little, uh, little hole here. And when you pull it through, you got your fingers on this end and your finger through the loop. You're gonna push this piece, this these two pieces through the loop and pull, okay? And I'll just do that. All right, so to kind of finish off a little bit, um, you know, you can just take these and just start placing them in areas of your choice. Um, There, the large one definitely you will want to use something long and something that they'll be able to pull out you know so keep that in mind when you're creating with the larger one and I am going to so for the ribbon to close this you need to get some ribbon I just have some ribbon here from the Dollar Tree so your ribbon size how you measure it um, you just want to take your your book and you want to kind of the main thing you want to do is to be able to tie it okay so like you need to be able to tie a bow so however much space you need to do that do it all right so like this so just so you can enough to tie a bow you can always cut the extra so what you're going to do is just lay it flat you're going to lay your book down, kind of get your ribbon centered, line it up, you know what I mean, like even it out, okay? And then what you're going to do is take one of your covers and you're going to bring the ribbon through that little hole right there. It's that simple. And then you're going to take the other side and you're going to do the same thing. So you want to bring that through okay so then if I were you I definitely flip it over to make sure it's flat back here and you know just kind of make it neat and just like that and then what you're going to do is you are going to tie pull not too tight where you you know ripping your paper um, but you're going to pressure or get all your pages down and you're going to Sorry, <laughs> why do we struggle to tie a bow? Okay. Come on, get it together. Okay, so pull it as tight as you want it. Just don't rip your paper. I don't think I like this ribbon for this, but okay. And then just, it's not gonna close all the way because your book is lifting, but that's cute enough right there and then to finish it off I am going to add some jewels here so I have some jewels and of course I've got to add some sparkle somewhere over the rainbow I've got to add some sparkle so I'm just gonna put here here and here and then here and here So one last look at the Anna Griffin booklet album dies. How cute. We're gonna flip it over and you could even like decorate this part right here. You know, use custom ribbon, whatever works for you. You could even put something on the back of it. So yeah, open it up and ta-da, like the gatefold. Look at that beautiful bird. I do like 
my color palette that I chose and I like the papers that I used and so when you open it or your recipient open it you know it could be like this or they could just open it like a regular book remember I didn't do it and I probably won't but on some of them I probably will or you could leave this if you're gonna do photos I definitely will probably leave these for photos so remember you can definitely decorate this side as well okay so again cute got your little pockets and those florals make it your own some little stuff in here you could put notes in there tickets you know money whatever you want to do and just make it your own and most of all have fun thank you so much for joining me today i really hope you like this video please let me know i don't know if you don't like it if you don't tell me i don't know if you like it or if you don't <laughs> thumbs down thumbs up doesn't matter i'm still gonna create but it would be nice to know if you like it thanks bye